Ever wonder how Wall Street guys gamble on internet money? Let us drive deep into the amazing and messy story of Barry Silbert, the Bitcoin kingmaker who went from riches to, well, let's just say things got complicated. Was he a genius or a gambler? Find out the truth in this crypto adventure. Get ready, as we'll go into detail on how he made money investing in and building businesses around digital assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum before the crypto craze. Before getting into the unexplored world of cryptocurrencies, Silbert established himself as a smart businessman on Wall Street. After graduating with a finance degree from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School, he gained experience as an investment banker at Radians and Second Market. This early success showcased his keen eye for alternative investment opportunities and paved the way for his future entry into the even more disruptive crypto market. Embracing the Bitcoin Revolution In 2012, Bitcoin was still in its initial stages, with a market capitalization of only around $2 billion. However, Silbert, with his characteristic foresight, recognized the potential of this revolutionary new technology. He made his first foray into crypto with a fearless investment in Bitcoin, a decision that would prove pivotal in his future endeavors. Recognizing the need for a specialized investment vehicle in this emerging asset class, Silbert launched the Bitcoin Investment Trust, BIT, in 2013, the first publicly traded Bitcoin fund through Second Market. This groundbreaking move opened the door for institutional investors to enter the Bitcoin market significantly contributing to its early growth and mainstream adoption. Building a crypto empire inside DCG's meteoric rise and turbulent fall. In 2015, Barry Silbert's vision for a crypto-focused investment powerhouse emerged with the launch of Digital Currency Group, DCG. This venture capital firm wasn't just betting on Bitcoin, it aimed to build an entire ecosystem around it. Through a combination of strategic acquisitions and internal startups, DCG established itself as a dominant player in the vast crypto space. By 2021, its estimated net worth had skyrocketed over $10 billion, solidifying Silbert's position as a crypto kingmaker. But beneath the breathtaking beginning lay a complex web of interconnected subsidiaries, each with its role in DCG's ambitious game. Let's get deep into these key players and understand how they contributed to DCG's rise and fall. Number 1. Grayscale the crown jewel of DCG's empire was Grayscale, the world's largest digital asset manager. Its flagship product, the Bitcoin Investment Trust, GBTC, became a phenomenon, attracting billions of dollars from institutional investors seeking exposure to Bitcoin without directly holding it. At its peak, GBTC's net asset value surpassed $60 billion, contributing significantly to DCG's financial muscle and Silbert's wealth estimated at $3.2 billion in 2022. However, GBTC's success was also a double-edged sword. Its closed-end structure and high premium over Bitcoin's spot price drew criticism, raising concerns about potential manipulation and a lack of liquidity. Number 2. Coindesk, the Crypto News Authority Beyond financial instruments, DCG aimed to shape the crypto narrative through Coindesk, a leading news and events platform. Coindesk provided in-depth analysis, breaking news, and educational resources, becoming a go-to source for crypto enthusiasts and professionals alike. This influence wasn't without controversy, as accusations of bias and editorial manipulation surfaced, particularly regarding projects backed by DCG or its subsidiaries. Number 3. Genesis, the lending powerhouse. Genesis served as the engine powering DCG's financial machinery. This crypto lending platform facilitated institutional borrowing and lending of digital assets, generating billions in trading volume at its peak. Genesis offered attractive interest rates, attracting major borrowers like Three Arrows Capital, 3AC. Number 4. Foundry, securing the Bitcoin network. Beyond financial initiatives, DCG ventured into the core infrastructure of Bitcoin with Foundry, a major Bitcoin mining pool. Foundry secures the Bitcoin network by verifying transactions and contributing to its overall stability. This involvement solidified DCG's presence within the broader crypto ecosystem, demonstrating its commitment to the technology's long-term viability. The interconnected web, strength and vulnerability. While each subsidiary played a distinct role, they were deeply intertwined. Grayscale's success fueled investments in Genesis, which offered loans to 3AC, a major customer of Foundry. This interconnectedness amplified DCG's success during the bull market, but also magnified its vulnerabilities when the tide turned. Riding the bull market wave, the 2021 crypto bull market saw DCG reach new heights, 
the price of Bitcoin soared to an all-time high of nearly $70,000, pushing the value of Grayscale's GBTC Trust to over $40 billion. This meteoric rise in the value of DCG's assets solidified Silbert's reputation as a successful crypto investor and entrepreneur, further amplifying his influence within the industry. He was featured in major publications like Forbes and Fortune, and hailed as a visionary leader by many in the crypto community. From Empire to Embers, the crash and its aftermath. However, the inherent volatility of the crypto market soon took its toll. In 2022, a major bear market swept through the industry, with Bitcoin prices plummeting by over 70% from their peak. This downturn exposed vulnerabilities within DCG's ecosystem, particularly with its subsidiary Genesis. Here are high-profile loan defaults and financial losses. Three Arrows Capital, 3AC. Genesis loaned over $2 billion to 3AC, a major crypto hedge fund. However, 3AC defaulted on its loans in June 2022, causing significant financial losses for Genesis and, consequently, DCG. Other borrowers. Other borrowers also defaulted on loans from Genesis, further exacerbating the company's financial woes. Let's discuss domino effect and restructuring efforts. Genesis liquidity crisis. The loan defaults triggered a liquidity crisis at Genesis, forcing the company to halt withdrawals and suspend new loan originations. This sent shockwaves through the crypto industry, as many viewed Genesis as a reliable and well-established player. DCG bailout and restructuring. To prevent further contagion, DCG injected hundreds of millions of dollars into Genesis to stabilize its operations. However, this move raised concerns about Silbert prioritizing DCG's interests over those of individual investors in Genesis products. Debt restructuring. DCG also engaged in complex debt restructuring negotiations with creditors, seeking to alleviate its financial burden and buy time for recovery. Controversy and accusations. The recent challenges faced by DCG have ignited a firestorm of controversy surrounding Silbert's leadership. Accusations of mismanagement, opaque accounting practices, and potential conflicts of interest have cast a shadow over his reputation. Here are some key points to consider. Opaque accounting. Critics argue that DCG's financial statements lack transparency, making it difficult to assess the true extent of its financial health and exposure to risks. This lack of transparency fuels concerns about potential hidden liabilities and risks within the DCG ecosystem. Management scrutiny. Silbert's leadership decisions, particularly his handling of the Genesis crisis and the alleged prioritization of DCG's interests, have come under fire. Some claim he failed to proactively address risks and acted too slowly to mitigate the crisis. Conflicts of interest. Questions have been raised about potential conflicts of interest due to the interconnectedness of DCG and its subsidiaries. For example, some argue that Silbert's position as CEO of both DCG and Grayscale creates an inherent conflict, as Grayscale holds a significant portion of its assets in GBTC, whose value is directly tied to Bitcoin's price. Legal battles and public disputes, Gemini Earn, the ongoing legal battle with Gemini, another crypto exchange, further adds to the complexity of the situation. Gemini co-founder Cameron Winklevoss accuses DCG and Silbert of owing his exchange over $900 million in repayments from a Bitcoin lending product offered by Genesis. This public dispute has intensified scrutiny of DCG's financial health and Silbert's leadership, with some questioning his transparency and accountability. Community Backlash Many within the crypto community have expressed concerns and disappointment with Silbert's handling of the recent crisis. This public backlash has damaged DCG's reputation and eroded trust in Silbert's leadership. The future of a crypto kingmaker. As DCG navigates these turbulent waters, Silbert's future remains uncertain. He has taken steps to address the challenges, including restructuring debt, negotiating with creditors to reduce DCG's financial burden and create a more sustainable path forward. Layoffs. Reducing expenses by laying off employees across various subsidiaries. Stepping down from Grayscale. Stepping down as chairman of Grayscale to address concerns about potential conflicts of interest. How rich is Barry Silbert? 
the estimated net worth of Barry Silbert is $3.2 billion. For some perspective, it would take over 60,000 people earning the average U.S. salary, $52,000, for one whole year to catch up to Barry Silbert's net worth. Several key questions remain unanswered. Can DCG successfully navigate its financial difficulties and emerge stronger? Will Silbert be able to weather the storm of controversy and regain the trust of the crypto community? What does this saga signify for the broader crypto ecosystem and its future regulation? It's crucial to approach the analysis with precision and avoid oversimplification. While Silbert deserves credit for his early recognition of Bitcoin's potential and his contributions to building the crypto infrastructure, the recent controversies raise legitimate concerns. A balanced analysis should acknowledge both his achievements and the current challenges, encouraging critical thinking and informed judgment about his legacy and the future of DCG. No doubt Barry Silbert's story is one of ambition, innovation, and, ultimately, risk. His journey within the crypto space serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the ever-present challenges and uncertainties inherent in this volatile industry. As the crypto landscape continues to evolve, what do you think about how Silbert's legacy will unfold? Whether he can regain his former status as a leading figure in the crypto world or not, Check out our other videos on influential figures and groundbreaking technologies shaping the future.